In the late 2000s, the global financial system was in turmoil. Many people were losing faith in traditional financial institutions that for too long had made the rich richer at the expense of, well, everyone else. Against this backdrop, a person or group named Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper in 2008 titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, describing a new form of money that for the first time did not require trust in a third party. And on January 3rd, 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto mined the Genesis block, and Bitcoin was born. 14 years later, Bitcoin endured multiple attacks from within and out. It has been blamed for everything from climate change to money laundering and has been declared dead 467 times. But Bitcoin survived. And began to thrive. It inspired Bitcoin communities all around the world. It brought together analysts, artists, environmentalists, developers, farmers, and more. It was even adopted as legal tender. But it doesn't belong to any government, any political party, or any ideology. It doesn't care who you are or where you're from. Or what you buy. Bitcoin isn't about getting rich quickly. It's about saving the value of your time and energy. Bitcoin is just money. But unlike the money we have today, controlled by a group of bankers who make decisions behind closed doors, Bitcoin is governed by code that anyone can freely download and verify for themselves. We once separated church and state. Bitcoin is how we separate money and state. Because the government shouldn't control what you believe in, and it shouldn't control your money either. 14 years ago, Bitcoin had one user. Today, it has millions. 14 years from now, what do you think?